Speeding up my editing and creation process. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt, this is Dwight Creatives. Today we're gonna go over how I've sped up my video creation process along with that editing process. Now, it is Two Minute Tuesday and I'm gonna do my best to stick with it, but we all know how that goes. Now, before we get started, I will leave the links for these products down below. Some of these will be affiliate links. If you do use those, there will be no extra cost to you, but they do help support the channel. So in advance, thank you if you do use those. Now, as I said, it is Two Minute Tuesday, so let's go and put two minutes on that clock. I'm gonna break this up into three different categories. The first one is gonna be filming, and what I use to film majority of my content right now is gonna be this camera that I'm currently filming on. It is the DJI Osmos Pocket 3, along with the DJI Mic 2. For myself, I find that the less things that I have to deal with, the more likely I am to use that. I apply this concept to a lot of different things, so of course that makes sense to apply here. Now, if you are looking for a review on the Pocket 3, I do have one linked here. The other thing to go along with that is to make sure you have good lighting, and that's something that I've been learning along the way. The light that I'm currently using is the Zhiyun Cine PRC S100 light. Now, I did do a review for this, and I do need to update that. Now that I have a lot more experience with it, I would recommend this light, but it does have a few little shortcomings that I would like to go into depth about. Make sure that you have a good and easy camera setup along with good audio and good lighting. The next thing is gonna be uploading my content and kind of storing it. That's where this is gonna come into play. This is made by PGY Tech, and simply, it's a card case. So as you can see here, one, two, three, four SD card slots. You have one, two SIM card slots, a SIM card tool remover, and you have one, two, three, four micro SD card slots. Now, why is that so great? Well, if you look right here, it's also a card reader. So I can stick a SD card and a micro SD card and upload both of these cards at the same time. I'm simply gonna press here and I have a USB-C cable pop right out that I can plug into my computer or plug into my phone or wherever I'm trying to upload this. This cable is rated at 3.1. Now the last area is gonna be specifically with the editing and a few peripherals that I use. The first one's gonna be this one. It is made by Work Louder and there's their Creator Micro. It looks like a number pad. So you can maximize your efficiency and set all of these to your specific shortcuts that you use the most. What's great about this too is when you are connected with this button right here, you can use multiple layers. So say you want one for editing, one for color grading, maybe you want to set one of these up for playing games. You can do that all in the VIA configurator. Now the other half to that is going to be a mouse. And for me, I've used a few different ones. It's made by JLab, it has a few extra buttons. And what I basically do is set this up to cut and delete. As I'm going through and getting all my videos in order, this just allows me to use both my hands as efficiently as possible to make sure that I can get through and get everything set while I'm going through my editor. So there we go. That's my kind of shortcut tips for the content and editing process. If you have any questions about this, always leave those down in the comment section. I always look forward to seeing what all of you have to say. And yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.